I'm Al Boreen, uh, Emeritus Professor from Michigan State University, and I judge the semi-boneless ham class. When you're looking at semi-boneless hams, it becomes very important that you judge confirmation and outside color, and you want to have a, um, a nice mahogany and a consistent color throughout. On some of these hams, it's very easy to have a outside confirmation and skin texture that changes because of humidity in the house and other factors. So we have a variety of scorings in this area. If you look at the internal score or internal of these hams, if you look at yield, we want to have a nice tight core uh, we don't want to have a wet surface, and we want to have a fine texture. Um, I like this ham particularly, uh, with this, this ham being a little bit more open and a little coarser. Uh, this ham tends to be quite a lot two-toned in places. Perhaps some yield problems, a little workmanship that could have been in, improved upon. When I'm looking at tasting these hams, I like to have a balance between salt and sugar and smoke. And I like to have a smoky aroma uh, to these uh, products. Um, I want to try to avoid any type of overarching spicy flavors in these products. Uh, I'm not opposed to ham spice, but it has to be on the very mild side. One other thing that is important in these type of hams, particularly the larger ones that are cooked uh, slowly to get the right type of temperature and texture, or to get the internal temperature, the right type of texture and mouthfeel, you need to be sure that you don't have issues with bone souring. And depending upon the sanitation program, this could be an issue. Uh, none of these hams present today have a problem with uh, sourness or anything like that. Thank you.